Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Let's jump right in and see what I'm talking about this week. to my channel and in this video I was asked a question and the question was why did I start my channel why did I start my videos why did I start my journey and so in this video I'm explaining my weight loss journey and why I got it started so let's dive right in and listen to my explanation of why and just bear with me because this video is a little bit longer than some of my other ones. So let's go check it out. I was asked a question. And the question was, why did I start doing these videos on Facebook, Instagram, and then why did I you know, make this YouTube channel? And why did I just start the journey in general? So I was gonna make a video in regards to that, but I figured, you know, since I was asked just recently and they were like, you know, why don't you do a video on it? I was gonna do it anyway, but decided, okay, I'm gonna go ahead, get this video out the way and just explain why I got all of this started. I kind of explained it in my videos, like the very first one, I believe the second one, because it's where like I'm going back because today is Sunday, the 27th of September. So I started this back in March. So. When I do my videos, I do flashbacks. And in those flashbacks, it kind of explains why I got this started. But I'ma just go ahead and explain it all in one video. Why I got all of this started. So the morning of March the 1st of 2020, I woke up like I normally would. I was getting ready for work. But when I woke up that morning, my face just felt fat. And I said to myself, self, you really just need to do something about that. You are 47 had just turned 47 not quite a month prior to March 1st and I had set this goal when I turned 40 I want to be fit by 40 I want to be fit by 45 well 50 will be here before I know it but this time I feel that it's actually going to happen. I feel that I will be fit by my 50th birthday, if not before. So with me being 47 and a half, I have, you know, some time before that 50th birthday. So, March 1st, woke up, face feeling fat, and I told myself, you know, we're going to do something about this, and I did. Once I got off work, and in that very first video that I posted on my YouTube channel, shows you where I got out there after work, it was raining, 
I even show you that I was walking. It was raining so much that the track was flooded. So it shows you that I was walking through the flooded waters. If it's not on the first one, it's on the second one, but it's around there somewhere. But it shows you where I started off walking. I did five laps. And I wanted to start off slow because I hadn't been exercising, moving, doing anything. It had been like maybe a year and a half because as a lot of you know, my family and I, we did Taekwondo and I also worked there. So I was getting in exercise as a Taekwondo student and as an employee because I would also go out there and I would assist training the students. So I was moving, moving, moving. And then once I got my first degree black belt, I hung around for my son to get his second degree black belt. And then I quit there. So then that just, you know, left my time open to just sit around. And as I said in that video, I was just being lazy. And that laziness caught up with me and I had put on weight. So March 1st was like, you gotta do something about it because I had gone to the doctor on January 26th. And when I went in, I was like, doc, you know, I think I'm this way. And he was like, well, no, he's like, you're like a pound difference, a pound lower. I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm like, cool. So he was like, you know, just watch it because you don't want to, you know, keep putting on weight. And, you know, my cholesterol was already elevated. And it was like between 215, 219, something like that. And it's always run like that. So he was telling me, watch the, you know, cholesterol, watch what I'm eating. And, you know, just try not to, you know, put on any more weight or whatever. So it took from January to March 1st. March 1st was the day. That was the day that I said, I'm going to get out there. I want to get up, get out and do something. And I've been doing it ever since. I gave myself a goal to march. I said I'm gonna march my march. So I wanted to try to walk every day in March. Well, like I said earlier, it was raining a lot. So I did walk on March 1st, but it's March 2nd. It was just downpouring. So I didn't go out March 2nd. March 3rd, I walked. March 4th is when I got the idea to start recording. And my recordings are started on my Instagram page. So a lot of the flashbacks that I have on there now are from my Instagram page. So a lot of my people on Facebook haven't seen those because at one point, Instagram was allowing me to put my videos on, but then I guess I got long winded and videos were ending up 15, 20 minutes and Instagram wasn't allowing me to upload videos that long. So I moved over to Facebook. So sometime, I wanna say the 25th, 26th of March is when Facebook started seeing my videos and then I wasn't able to put them on Instagram. So the videos are the videos and stories that I do because I do stories every day. Videos used to be every day, but then I cut the videos down to Mondays and Thursdays. But those are things to keep me accountable on this journey, this weight loss journey that I'm on, weight loss and fitness journey that I'm on. So for me, it's not about getting the likes. 
I'm glad to know that I am motivating everybody. I'm getting a lot of people, you know, sending me messages saying I've motivated them. I'm glad that I'm a motivation to you. And like I said, this was for me to document and keep account and keep myself accountable of what I was doing every day. And then if I see that, hey, you're not exercising, hey, you're not walking, then I need to get back out there and start exercising and walking. So for me to keep myself accountable, that's why I do it every day. I had someone tell me that, you know, if you do the same thing every day, that, you know, you're gonna get burnt out, tired of doing it, and then you're gonna probably wanna, you know, stop doing it. Well, it does get a little boring sometimes, you know, just walking, walking, walking. So that's why in my videos, I would say, get up, get out and do something. If you can't get outside, walk inside. So now I've started incorporating and practicing what I've been preaching to everybody. I've incorporated walking inside. I do the the Leslie Sanson. I don't know if that's how you pronounce her last name, but I like saying it like that, Sanson. Leslie Sanson, her videos on YouTube, I did on one of my videos, I put three links to her videos, a couple of them that, you know, that I use, and different ones of hers pop up. So I try different ones of hers. So I incorporate that. Plus, I incorporate some other things to also help aid in the weight loss. Because when I was just walking, when I started that walking journey on March 1st, I was getting a little discouraged because it didn't seem like the weight was coming off real fast. But then I told myself, Corrine, you don't want it to come off fast because if it comes off fast, you're going to gain it back fast, even faster, plus some. So, you know, just chugging, chugging, chugging along. Everybody's been seeing me walking. I used to do lives, but as early as I go out in the morning at 5.30, 5.45 in the morning, I stopped doing the, the Facebook Lives because nobody's up. <laughs> so I might get one viewer or whatever, but nobody's up. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to, you know, record my videos, upload it to Facebook, and then people start, you know, once they wake up, they see my video, they comment, and then I can come back, comment back to them and stuff. So, I am doing this for myself, first and foremost, doing this for myself. And then I'm also doing it because I want to see my kids grow up and see my kids have kids and I uh, just want to be around for a long time and be healthier. But it took me, and I tell people that it took, it took me to learn myself. I had to learn myself. And once I learned myself, because I've been doing so I thought journeys of weight loss in the past, but those didn't really help, didn't really lose a lot of weight. I've lost some doing those journeys, but then I wind up gaining it back because I didn't know myself. Now I know myself. And what I mean by that is I know the foods that I'm allergic to. I know what I can eat and what I can't eat that's going to agree with my system and that's going to help me you know toward my weight loss journey and then I had to go have allergy testing done I went and had a genetics testing done and that told me a lot about myself as well 
And with the genetics testing, you know, it told me about possible medical issues that I could face or possibly face in the future. So I know that there's things that can, you know, kind of help with like aiding and not getting a lot of cancers and eating properly is one of them. So that's what I mean about learning myself. I had, you know, the different tests, like I said, the allergy test, genetic testing. I had that done and I, you know, pretty much feel that I know myself. And, you know, some people say, you know, I know myself on the inside and the outside. There's no way that you can know yourself on the inside. You can know yourself on the outside, see if things are changing. I mean, like, I have a different little spots here. If you see more spots coming on or your little hair is turning gray, look like some of them are turning gray. Um, you know, I can see what's going on on the outside, but on the inside, I don't know what's going on. Nobody knows what's going on the inside of their body unless you go to the doctor, get checked out, whatever. So in order for me to know myself, I did go get these different tests done so I could know myself. So one of my cousins talked to me back in April. I didn't start changing until May when she talked to me about uh, going plant-based because she watched some videos, Forks Over Knives, and uh, some other videos. And I did put those in one of my videos as well. I, I, I waited till May. I didn't, you know, jump right on it when she told me, but I started in May doing plant-based. I don't do, everything's not plant-based. Like, I haven't eaten protein like meat protein chicken turkey haven't had beef in like over 19 years but chicken turkey seafood I don't do that stuff so that is what I changed in my diet and it's been since mid-may like I said it's September now that I haven't eaten this stuff and that has helped aid in the weight loss that I've seen so far and then I had another cousin that wanted me to join her Herbalife uh, 21 day challenge. I did that from June 1st to June 21st. Saw some significant changes, physical appearance. And so there's been different things throughout this journey that I've been trying. I did like during that 21 day challenge with my cousin, they did like a 21 day like ab workout thingy. So I did that with them. And, and like I said, I saw, you know, a pretty decent transformation in myself. So it's just been a journey for me. This is my weight loss journey. Like I said, I have goals. I want to be fit by 50. I want to be here for my kids, my grandkids. I want to live a healthy life. So I had to make some changes and I have to eat for myself. So I'm not saying that I'm vegan. I'm not saying that I'm vegetarian. I have to do what's right for me because with me having a lot of food allergies, then I have to, you know, eat according to what I can and what I can't eat. So like, I can't do wheat. So I still use white bread. During this thing, I still eat bread. I still have sweets, but I've changed to like oat milk, um, plant-based eggs, just egg, plant-based bacon. I use the Impossible Burger. I use Beyond Burger. I still go to like White Castle. Get they White Castle. They're not here in Georgia, but White Castle. You know, when I get around one, if I go to Ohio or the closest one is in Tennessee, Nashville, they have the Impossible Sliders. Crystal is like 
white cat. So they used to have it, but they're gonna, they stopped it for now. They're gonna bring it back eventually. And there's just things that I have to do for myself. So like I said, I'm not claiming vegan vegetation, vegetation, <laughs> vegetarian, not claiming any of that. Just, you know, I'm eating for me. But definitely there's no animal protein whatsoever because I saw those videos. Um, there's one in regards to how they treat the animals at the largest dairy farm in New York. And, you know, go back and look at some of my videos. You can see uh, the videos that I have linked in there and it talks about those different things. So seeing that, how the animals are treated, you know, that was a decision that I made because it was horrible. It's horrible how they treat those animals and we're eating that stuff. So I don't condone that. So I'm not going to eat it. So looking at the PETA website, it was saying that, you know, the less meat that you eat, the more animals that we are saving. So I can say that I'm helping to save some animals because I have stopped eating that stuff. So, you know, just to, you know, basically sum up this video is that I started this on March the 1st of 2020 to have a better me. I need a better me and I want to be fit by 50 and I want to shock my doctor when I go in January for my physical. I want to see, I want to shock myself. I want to see if those cholesterol numbers have gone down. I, you know, want to shock him as to, to the weight loss and you know, I just want to live. I want to be a healthier me. I've been overweight the majority of my life. I recall being either four or five years old, going to the doctor back in Ohio where I'm from and hearing the doctor say, you know, that I was obese at four or five years old. I mean, it was a big long word to me then. Like obese, oh, okay, what's that? So I've heard that word since, like I said, four or five years old. And, you know, I probably, I won't say be obese. I'm trying to get out of that obese word. I'll probably be, you know, still overweight. The goal that I want to get to, I want to get down to maybe 160. It's still overweight. I'm 5'5". Five, five in height still you know consider overweight for that height but i'm gonna be a whole lot healthier once i can get down to there so that's my goal to be fit by 50 160 pounds if i get lower than that i get lower than that i don't want to but you know it is what it is so just trying to do this for me stay around see my family live a long life healthy life and that was the reason why I started this journey so feel free to shoot me any questions that you may have if I didn't answer everything shoot me a question shoot me comments if you like this video Make sure you subscribe, you hit the like button. And I just wanna end by saying I appreciate everybody stopping by, checking out my channel, looking at my videos, all of the emails, text messages, messenger messages that I get from friends, family members, people I've never met before, people that have found this channel, you know, saying that you know, I've inspired them or keep going, you're doing a good job and so on and so on. So I won't make this any longer because it looks like I'm already at almost 24 minutes. But like I said, just thank you. I'm gonna keep going. Every Saturday, I'm gonna try to drop a video. I've been pretty consistent now dropping videos 
and I'm going to keep doing it. Like I said, it's keeping me accountable. It's keeping me accountable to myself and to the people that look up to me. So, you know, just look out for my videos. Thank you again. And I want to wish you guys a good weekend. And you will see me next Saturday. So until then, peace and blessings to you all. Get up, get out and do something. Oh, and I forgot my signature before I go. I am rocking my fro and saying, let's go. I started that when I was out there walking back in March. I have some t-shirts that I made up with that slogan on it and a lady with a big old afro and that's on my Teespring site. There will be an ad at the end of the video, but until next time, like I said, peace and blessings to you all. Thanks again. Love you guys and you'll see me next Saturday. and I, my name is Corrine, and his name is Jemiah. Both have Teespring websites. Teespring is an e-commerce platform that allows people to create and sell custom apparel. The company was founded in 2011 in Providence, Rhode Island. We sell anything from t-shirts, face masks, cell phone cases, socks, and much more. So take a look at just a few of the items we have to offer. And if you see anything you like, just stop by our site and check us out. We both can be cool in a way, it's two generations out in play. Old school, new school, what are those? Look at those shoes, I said no, no. The new school's come up with that new flow. Classic, we're running our own show. You set us on the right path, of course. Now the new school is going with all the doors. But there are some problems that you'll have with us. Our style is weird and our songs are fun. Out, you guys have to trust, yeah, so let's yeah, get yeah. along because it's a must. That's a must. Yeah, it's a must. To buy a